As you guys can see, Alexander Usyk once again bulking up for the Daniel Dubois fight. Of course, the fight is not too long from now. It is about, uh, what, a month away? Three weeks, four weeks away? And Alexander Usyk is bulking up. And my counterpunch to Usyk is, or with any fighter that's smaller, that's fast, I always question it. It always makes me wonder why the hell you would you bulk up? Unless bulking up means that you're trying to build more power and get more power behind your shots, you know, the AJ theory, you know, that's what I call it because, you know, being buff and being powerful is not the same thing. Ask Deontay Wilder. You know, he's no slouch or nothing. He has an athletic build, but he doesn't have to be bulky. If anything, he's long. You know, he's long and cut. So you don't have you don't need bulk to be powerful. Ask Bob Foster, ask Tommy Hearns, ask Muhammad Ali. You know, and it really Muhammad Ali's not known for power, but at the end of the day, you know, uh say that to one of his punches. Ask George Foreman, Joe Frazier, Ken Norton, Ernie Chavis. Ask those fellows. Sonny Liston. You know, so yeah, I don't think that's necessary to need bulk. And bulk at the end of the day will always turn its back on you, okay? It will always betray you because being bulky means having more responsibility by carrying muscles around, round after round, uh, throwing punches, and they act as though a burden in later rounds. So as bulky as he may get, it might look good, but looking and being are two different things. That doesn't mean that he's going to be successful just because he appears to be bulk and cut up. You know what I mean? And I never thought Alexander Usyk was a guy that had like a, a Napoleon syndrome because he has nothing to be uh, or feel small about. You know, but yeah, he did get bulky and he is cutting weight. And I think the smaller, the better. You know, um, Manny Pacquiao is a prime example. You know, even though most, most of his muscles was in his legs, but, you know, he wasn't a guy that, you know, felt he needs to be Sylvester Stallone to get the job done, okay? So uh, hearing bulky is never a good thing for me. Um, being ripped, yeah, that, that sounds good. It's great for bragging rights. Yeah, look, ooh, you know, big muscles, but... You know, I don't think that he absolutely, I don't think that he needs that at all. At all. You know, Danny Dubois is a big guy. He's never going to be bigger than Danny Dubois. And I would hate to see Alexander Usyk if he was, because that means he's on some juicy juice. <laughs> but anyway, you guys tell me what you think of the new footage of Alexander Usyk bulking up for Daniel Dubois. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched.